Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Adrian Boysell, and today I have an important video for you if you are a marketing agency owner. Now, you may just be a graphic designer, but maybe you build websites, maybe you do some marketing services for your clients. You need to level up and get to the next place in your business, similar to what I've done over the last 15 years in my career. So I wanted to make a video specifically about the 18 software tools that every marketing agency owner needs. And these are gonna be really important tools that I want you to get some notes, get a pen and paper, get your Google Doc out, make sure you're ready to take notes on all these, because if you're not using one of these, I highly recommend that you are. And so I wanna share these tools with you that are gonna be really important if you're a marketing agency owner, whether you're a new business or you're an existing business, I really want you to implement these. These 18 tools are broken into three categories. The three categories that I've created is managing clients, marketing your clients, and keeping them happy and keeping them growing. So I'm gonna break these down real quick. This is gonna be a little bit longer of a video than normal, but I'm gonna to try to keep it as quick and as succinct as possible, and there will be links down in the description for each of the things you need. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so the first thing that you need to be able to do well, because this is the lifeblood of your business, is managing your clients. This is an area that many creatives struggle in and understanding how to manage and work with clients. I have a list here of six things that I use in my agency and my team uses in our agency to manage our clients. The first one is Zoho One. Now you could use a different software that maybe does other things like Go High Level or Salesforce. Those are much more expensive, but I like Zoho One. I've made videos about it in the past because of in Zoho One, you get a full suite of different softwares. There's over 20 different softwares that are included in this. There's a lot that they have to offer. And some of those, just as an example, is Zoho CRM to managing all the relationships, birthdays, incoming, outgoing emails, of, so you can keep track of everything. The entire relationship history of that client inside of your CRM, which is a customer relationship management tool. The second part of Zoho One is projects. This is something we use to manage our clients' projects, to put out time uh, timetables, what the deliverables are, what each steps are, and what the budgets are for these projects. And this is where we actually import documents. We can link Dropbox and Google Drive to this. So Zoho Projects is a really cool tool as part of Zoho One. You have books, so invoicing, sending estimates, you gotta have that. You have Click, which is your team communication. So if you have a team of people that you're working with, you can all come into one place and communicate, similar to like Slack. And then the last one that I use on a regular basis and my team uses is Zoho Social inside of there. So this is a really important tool. I would get an all-in-one program like this, just it'll save you time, it'll save you money, and lower these subscription costs, because as a marketing agency owner, those things can really start to spike up on you, and that's something that you want to avoid. All right, so let's get into the second one. The second we have is G Suite. Now this is obviously important because G Suite offers Google Drive, they offer um, your email service, your Gmail, and we use this for all of our clients. We set these up for our clients and we use these internally, but actually having a good email server, something like G Suite is really important and you get a lot of storage space based on the membership plans that you do. We have multiple licenses that we use, but I would definitely recommend you getting a good email software. I used to use the webmail through GoDaddy and stuff like that. It's just not as good uh, as Gmail and the Gmail inbox is really, really nice and very customizable. So I really wanted to encourage you guys as number two to check out G Suite. All right, so jumping into number three, this is one that I've used to make a ton of money on. It's not just for managing clients, but it's to make a ton of money, and that's Calendly. Calendly is an amazing tool for booking appointments with your clients or customers, depending on what kind of person you're working with. But if you're gonna manage these relationships, you wanna make sure that you have a way to book time with them. So when they actually wanna meet with you, they book on your calendar in a time slot that you set in advance that's available. So you're not having to try, well, are you available on Monday? Okay, maybe not Tuesday. Or how about Tuesday at four? Or how about Tuesday at three, right? It can get really confusing and overwhelming to set appointments that way. If somebody wants to meet with you, you can have a free meeting option for about 15 minutes. That's what I do. You can do a 30 minute strategy session where you charge for it. And then you can do a full strategy session, which is what I do, which is usually an hour to two hours. And sometimes I have longer ones like full day sessions for branding that you can charge whatever you want. You can actually build that directly through that calendar booking system, link that up to Stripe, and that'll transfer right into your bank account. So this is a really cool tool, really good way to meet and manage your clients. And I really want to encourage you, if you're not doing a lot of meetings with your clients, this is an area where you're leaving money on the table. Each one of those meetings is an opportunity, is a sales opportunity for you to actually make more money, solve more problems, and keep the relationship strong between you and your client. All right, number four, and this is kind of a shameless plug because this is one of my softwares, is Lead Butler Call Tracking. We use Lead Butler Call Tracking as part of our company to manage calls, track calls, send text messages. There's a lot that we can do with this. This is something that I use to manage my incoming, outgoing calls. I can make the calls 
right from my phone. I can do it from my browser. Um, so there's a really neat, a lot of really neat options for you there. And there's a lot of really cool tracking abilities that Lead Butler Call Tracking has. So if you haven't checked that out already, definitely check out leadbutler.io and you'll see the call tracking tab there at the top. But definitely need to get yourself some call tracking if you want to use something else. There's tons of other ones out there, but that's just what I use personally. All right, so number five, and this is an important one. Now, a lot of people may want to use Stripe or PayPal or some of these other payment services, but I really wanted to cover this because managing your clients and getting paid from them is a really big deal. And you want to find something that plugs in universally with your software. So it plugs in with my Zoho One, it plugs in with a lot of things that I do, and that is CoCard, but also connected to authorize.net. If you check out cocard.com, which there'll be a link down in the description, I actually saved myself a ton of money. I think it was like over $10,000 last time I checked in processing fees by using CoCard. Uh, they're a local mom and pop business, but they handle thousands of accounts and they will link you up and you'll get an authorized.net account as part of their program. And this is a really good software, really good system to use. It'll save you money on those transactions, especially if you're doing large reoccurring transactions, you wanna to try to save as much money as possible. All right, so the last one is part of managing your clients and this is one that my everybody on my team uses. I use it for internal management of my team. I use it for client management of sending quick videos and that's Loom. If you haven't heard of Loom yet, I really wanna recommend that you check that out. It's a really good way to pop open the program, the software in your computer. You can open it up, record your screen, record yourself and make a quick video and then you just shoot them the link to that video through that program and boom, they can watch the video, they can comment on it, they can give it a thumbs up. A lot of really neat features there, but I really wanna encourage you, I think this is a really, really good tool for marketing agency owners because video, as you know, is a much higher form of communication. I don't personally like email very much. I am a video person, I'm a face-to-face -face kind of person, so this is the closest thing that you can really do to doing that. And then kind of as a double whammy, I think here, I'm gonna throw this in right now, just in the moment, is Zoom. I kind of put these two together. I would put Loom or Zoom. Uh, and the same thing as number six, video communication is really important. I do a lot of meetings through Zoom and I use a lot of my back and forth correspondence with Loom. All right, so now that we've gone through the first part of this, I wanna know how do you manage your clients? What softwares are you using? Maybe there's something new that I haven't discovered yet that you can share with me. This should be a two-way street, right? Iron sharpens iron. So I wanna know what softwares are you using and are you using multiple softwares for your CRM, your project management, your books, your team tracking, or do you have them consolidated as well? I wanna know a little bit more about you, so definitely introduce yourself down below. and I look forward to hearing from you. All right, so the second piece to this is marketing your clients. Now this is important because if you don't get results and you're not able to successfully market your clients, you ain't gonna keep them around. A lot of marketing agencies really struggle with this in the beginning of their careers. They come up with one or two strategies that are decent, like some Facebook ads, or maybe they're doing some Google My Business stuff, or maybe they're doing some Instagram ads. They have one or two little tricks in their bag and they don't have a full pipeline of abilities. Well, one of the benefits to knowing me and working with me and my company is we offer a full suite of services from video marketing to SEO to pay-per-click to uh, man, content marketing, you name it, we can pretty much do it. And we're really good at a lot of those things. We really specialize in a lot. We have a deep knowledge in a lot of these areas because we've been doing it for so long. That's why we come in as a chief marketing officer. So if you wanna send us your clients, we can manage them and we can make sure that it's all under your brand. This is an important thing I wanted you to be able to take away from this video, but also if you wanna manage it and do it all yourself, there's some tools that you're gonna need here that I'm gonna read through and we're gonna continue on through all these software tools. All right, so number seven, the seventh software that I wanna give you is Ahrefs. Now this is one of my favorite softwares because for SEO, there's really no better tool out there. There's a few others, SEM Rush and some other ones, but Ahrefs is the best that I've used hands down. It's consistent, it's reliable. They put out a ton of content, so shout out to those guys on YouTube. They put out a ton of really valuable content for the industry. I've learned a lot from these guys and I highly respect the Ahrefs team. People like Matt Diggity and all the people that are industry veterans, they all use Ahrefs. So if you're not using Ahrefs, I really highly recommend you use that for SEO. You're gonna need this not just for your client's SEO and seeing where they're at, what's working, what's not working, what keyword opportunities there are, but you're gonna need this for your own SEO and understanding where your, your business is because you need to market your business as you do your client's business. So this is one of the mistakes that I see all the time that marketing agencies make is they don't market themselves as hard as they market their own clients. And so they're never able to keep their pipelines full. They're never able to keep enough clients coming in. And they have this hills and valleys, this roller coaster of income coming in. So this is something important that you need to know. You need to use this tool, not just for your clients, but also for yourself. All right, so let's jump over to number eight, which is Zapier. Zapier is a really cool tool. I've, 
I can't even remember how long I've been using it, but I've been using it forever. This is a way to automate and create workflows within your business. So let's just use this as an example. Client comes in to your website. You would create a Zapier Zap so that every single time that happens, all the information they fill out on the form goes over to a spreadsheet. Maybe it goes over to your CRM. Maybe it goes over to a Slack channel. And then every single time, you can also create a Zapier link that every single time a payment is collected from, let's just say Stripe or PayPal or Authorize, it obviously automatically sends you a text message or a notification that that payment's coming in. So there's a lot of really neat ways to plug multiple programs together and to automate workflows. And a lot of make, it makes a lot of sense to automate your workflows to save a lot of that time where you'd have to pay somebody to do that for you. So efficiency is really, really important. And that's why I'm such a big advocate for Zapier. All right, number nine, and some of you guys may disagree with me, but I don't really care because this is something that's made a ridiculous amount of money for me. It's made a ridiculous amount of money for my clients and it's made a ridiculous amount of money for all of the people that are industry veterans, that people that I look up to, the respect that have generated hundreds of millions of dollars and that's, ready? ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is an amazing software and they're about to come up with ClickFunnels 2.0, which is gonna blow your mind. I have a feeling it's gonna render some of these other softwares that I've mentioned obsolete but I'm not gonna hold my breath for that. I've heard some amazing things. Russell Brunson's one of the biggest innovators, the biggest industry leaders around, not just in the marketing industry, but just in the business to business world. And so ClickFunnels is a really good tool. If you haven't checked it out, I highly encourage you to do so. It's a pretty simple drag and drop WYSIWYG type builder software, but it allows you to make landing pages, um, sales funnels, things like that. And I can't, don't have time to go too deep into that. I've made videos about it. You can check out on my channel, but ClickFunnels is definitely a software that I would use to market my clients. And you can create a campaign just under a subdomain. So let's just use this as an example. We have an auto detailer we've generated tens of thousands of dollars for through our campaign. And his ClickFunnels site is actually built under deals visualdetailing.com. It's not actually under his main domain name. So we have a click funnel that's specifically developed for advertising and which is what you want to use funnels for mostly. They're not generated for SEO, but more for paid advertising. So this is something you should be using to build your own business, build your clients' businesses and something I wanted to make sure that you knew. All right, so we are already 10 deep. Number 10, are you ready for this? WordPress. WordPress is a software. It's an open source software. It's a way that most websites are built and I'm actually going to be talking about WordPress and websites in general in a much deeper way here in the next few weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that. This is gonna be a huge money maker for you. But WordPress is a really, really great software to build your website as your portfolio. You can showcase blogs, you can put videos. It's pretty much unlimited. You could even put e-commerce and create entire workflows and systems and build your entire business around your WordPress website. It's almost unlimited. So the WordPress is definitely a tool that you should be using. You may be using something else, another uh, content management system like Squarespace or Weebly. Those are fine for a beginner, but if you really want to take the next step, I highly encourage you to check out WordPress. All right, so this one is for my fellow video people. I know some of you guys are video pros that love video, maybe motion designers, maybe graphic designers, motion designers. I love video, I've been doing video for years, and you need to have a good software to be able to get the word out on these videos. And what I use for myself and for all my clients is a program called TubeBuddy. Again, there's a link down in the description. I wanna make sure you know that and you're reminded about that. Write these things down too, because this is a really good list. TubeBuddy is a software that allows you to optimize your videos, find out what's trending, find keywords, find out what's working on your videos, what's not. Really optimize your videos to get the highest performance possible so that your videos have the highest chance of being competitive against all the other millions of people that are uploading videos on YouTube. All right, number 12. Now you're gonna, this is one of my little secret weapons that I'm kind of almost, hesitant to be giving all of these away because this is a really big deal. Some of these tools, people might not agree with me and they say, oh, this guy's not doing things right. Well, the truth is, is I'm all about efficiency and if the job gets done the right way, it doesn't matter what tool I do it with. So one of the tools that I used to use and I'm still using to this day, my team is using, is a tool that used to be called Jarvis but is now called Jasper. Jasper is a really amazing tool that is a AI tool. It's actually artificially intelligent content writing tool. So we'll plug in a content piece, like a video like this, we'll transcribe it and we can load that content in there and it'll regurgitate and actually write an entire article just based on some basic information for us and it saves a ton of time. So if you're trying to come up with copy for a website or copy for a Facebook post, Jarvis, now called Jasper, is a really, really good way to do that.
the 13th, and this falls again under marketing your clients, a 13th tool that I wanted to make sure you guys knew is again, one of mine is Lead Butler Connect. Now you're probably asking yourself what that is. Lead Butler Connect is an amazing tool for LinkedIn. Many of you guys are on LinkedIn, but you don't have hardly any connections. Your profile isn't optimized. You're not connecting with people consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. You're not sending out messages. And when you are sending out messages, you're sending out these long four paragraph spammy messages that that person will never open a message from you ever again. Well, what Lead Butler Connect allows you to do is automatically, while you're sleeping, send out connection requests and send out a sequence of messages. Now, I gotta be careful about this because there's some rules around LinkedIn, but this is actually done manually as well as automatically. And so there's some really neat ways that we utilize Lead Butler Connect, but I wanted to plug this because if you are a business owner helping your clients, LinkedIn is a massive opportunity. There's millions and millions and the type of clients that you can find on there are much higher than you'll find on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. So if you're looking for high-end, high net worth individuals, LinkedIn is the way to do it. And Lead Butler Connect is the way that you can get the most out of your money and the most out of your time, which is worth way more than money, right? So that is how you're going to market your clients. So now let's jump into keeping your clients growing and happy. But first, real quick, I just need to ask, if you love this content, if you're finding any of these tools helpful, what you can do, because I spend a ton of money every month and a ton of time putting these videos together for no guaranteed of income on the backside, all you gotta do is throw a thumbs up on the video. Hit the subscribe button with a little bell so that you make sure you can see all of our videos because I'm gonna be sharing better and better content. I've gotten better since the beginning of my journey. You can go check out my first video till today. I'm significantly better and I'm gonna continue to do that. So please show me some love back in return for the content I'm sharing and just throw a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you introduce yourself. So the third piece of this, and we talked about this, is keeping your clients growing and happy. How do you keep these clients for long term? A lot of clients really struggle with this. They'll bring on a client and two, three, four months in, the client cancels and moves on to somebody else. They churn and burn through agencies, through clients all the time. This is something that I want to stop from happening because it's giving the industry a bad name and it's giving marketers like you and I or creatives like you and I a bad name and saying that we're just a bunch of scammers. And that's just not the truth. I love human psychology, I love human behavior, and I love helping people get influenced by actually providing value. So if you're providing value to the world and you're actually solving problems, you should have no shame in that. And so keeping your clients happy and keeping them with you long term is an important aspect of what you should be doing. And so these next tools that I'm going to go through are going to help you do that. All right. So number 15 on this list, and this is for helping you keep your clients happy is dash this. Now this is a reporting software. There's all this information, all these campaigns, all this activity that you're doing from website traffic to Google analytics to Facebook campaigns and Instagram campaigns and TikTok campaigns and email campaigns. How do you take all of that information, compile it into one place, into one dashboard that your clients, that you have to provide a report to, right? So your clients can get these reports, but you're not having to do hours and hours and hours worth of work every month. When we started looking at reporting software, we started looking at the math of how much we were gonna to spend to have Chris or somebody on my team put together these reports for each client. It was gonna take us three to five hours per client to manage this. Now, if you do the math, just some basic math, just say 20 bucks an hour, that's gonna cost you 60 to $100 to actually do the reporting alone for each client. And that is a lot of time, and that's weekly reporting. That's not monthly. If you span that across a month, that could be up to 20 hours worth of work. So really understanding that it takes a lot of time to gather all that information manually and generate a report from that, you don't wanna be doing that manually. So this is why we implemented Dash This into our agency, into our business. This is something that you should implement. You can plug in all these different programs, all these different campaigns into one thing, and then the client can automatically get an email weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly of what's going on in their business. Now you're gonna to have to teach them and go over it with them and show them how to use it because they're not just gonna know right off the bat. And if you just send them a report, they're gonna be like, cool, I got a report, but they're not gonna know what they're looking at. So you really need to take the time to walk them through it and make sure that they understand Dash This. And the cool part about Dash This is you can label this with all of your own branding. You don't have to have the Dash This branding. You can put your branding on there so it looks like your reporting system and that will look beautiful, it'll look professional, and it'll save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money. All right, so we're coming towards the end of this. And this is another software I want you to use. And this is number 16, which is MailChimp. MailChimp is something that we use. We could use our Zoho CRM, but I just like MailChimp. It's simple, it's easy, and we seem to have really good delivery rates. 
the actual emails that make it through to our clients is really, really high with MailChimp. Something about their servers are recognized. I don't know what the deal is with MailChimp specifically. I'd love to know more. Maybe I'll do a video in the future as I gain more information about that. But MailChimp is a great software for email marketing your clients, building databases, scrubbing your list, and being in constant communication. Now, I wanna make sure that you know this because this is really important. If you're just constantly emailing your clients asking for stuff, they're gonna delete it, they're not gonna read it, and you're never gonna be able to get them to open one of your emails and your open rates are gonna be horrific. I think industry average open rates are anywhere between like five and 10%. Some of the email campaigns that we do for our clients, like my wife is a good example, sometimes get 50, 60, and 70% open rates. Why? Because they're offering real value. If you're not offering real value and being a giver to your clients, then you're being a taker and nobody wants a taker. People are always asking themselves what's in it for me. And so making sure that the first email that you ever send to them is something that they're like, oh my gosh, this is so good because then they're gonna open your second email and you wanna stay consistent. What I say is the 80-20 rule really applies to this is give, 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 ask. Give, 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 ask. This is a really important part of all marketing and all even social media in general is not just constantly ask for something. Hey, who looks looking for a logo? Who's looking to do a website? People are gonna be turned off by that. You need to offer, educate, and provide value to the marketplace. All right, so let's jump over to 17 before we get to our last one. And this is a company that I've actually done a video on. And I'm probably gonna do a new one because some things have changed, but sign up. Sign up is spelt kind of funny, S-Y-N-U-P. They're a company based out of India and they offer a lot of different services, but their main one is voice. So a lot of people that are doing voice search right now and they're typing in, hey, Alexa, which I wanna be careful of saying that because mine's connected. A lot of people are doing voice search. Find a local attorney near me or find a, right? They're giving different examples uh, of voice search. So you wanna be able to use sign up for voice search listing yourself on all the directories, managing your reputation or your client's reputation. This is a really big deal. This is what I use to manage inside of my business. There's a lot of other features and, and tools that they're adding to it. And they're constantly innovating, but check out Sign Up. It's a really good software, really good system, and really good people. I highly recommend them. All right, so we made it all the way to the very end and number 18 I'm saving for last. Not because it's the best, but because it's an essential tool to understand the performance of your clients and understand what's growing and what's not growing. And this is gonna keep them happy. If you can explain this and show this to your clients and really make sense of this, you will be light years ahead of all of your competition. So number 18 is Google Analytics. It's a really common software. A lot of people probably already know this. You've probably already heard of it, especially if you have a website. But if you're not using Google Analytics combined with also Google Search Console, these two really work well hand in hand. This is a software that you need to be using for all of your clients. I had a couple clients recently that came to me that had websites for real estate and for another business and they didn't have Google Analytics installed on their website. It drives me crazy. If you can't see how long they're staying on your website, what pages they're visiting, where they're falling off, all that information and trigger different events that are happening on your website, you're really only hurting yourself and you're leaving so much money on your table. You can't reiterate and optimize your website if you don't know what's happening. And along with Google Analytics, there's kind of an advanced analytics tool I wanna to make sure you know as well. This could be a 19, but we're just gonna keep it at 18. And I'll mention you can also use Hotjar as another option or Crazy Eggs. Those are kind of the same. And they allow you to track how far they're scrolling down the page, what they're clicking on the page, what they're not clicking on. It's kind of an advanced analytics tool, kind of Google Analytics on steroids. And so this is a lot for one day. This is a lot of information, a lot of tools, but this is primarily what we use to manage our clients, grow our clients, and market our clients, and then keep them happy and keep them with us long-term. And I know that's what you guys want. So if you got value from this, again, introduce yourself below. Let me know what you think. If you have feedback, any criticisms, I'm open to that as well. And if you haven't already, check out your, our Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. It's a private community of creatives, web, graphic, and motion designers. I'd love to have you there. You gotta make sure you fill out all the questions or I'll hit reject and deny your admittance into there because we wanna make sure we have good people, quality, over quantity. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Adrian Boisel. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.